Senate leaders amp up pressure to highlight facility vax rates, and nursing home reform bill definitely has traction in Congress. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. CMS is facing additional pressure from two Democratic lawmakers to make COVID-19 vaccination rates among nursing home residents and staff more accessible to the public. Quote, we believe more needs to be done to make these transparency measures useful to patients and their loved ones, particularly given the recent surge in COVID-19 cases across the United States and the wide variation in vaccination rates among nursing home residents and staff throughout our nation. Senators Bob Casey from Pennsylvania and Rod Wyden from Oregon wrote in a letter on Friday to CMS Administrator Shakia brooks Lashure. Quote, we request that CMS continue building on its efforts to increase transparency regarding the rate of vaccinations among residents and workers at nursing homes. The agency should ensure that the average Medicare or Medicaid beneficiary, their families and employees are able to easily access facility level data on care compare, the lawmakers added. CMS has been publicly posting nursing home vaccination rates since June. The agency in mid-July faced pressure to publicize nursing home COVID-19 vaccination data to make it more consumer friendly. It followed through on the request by revamping the website soon after. The data, however, is not posted on the Care Compare website. The lawmakers on Friday argued that the recent surge of the Delta variant, increasing case rates in nursing homes and families' concerns about providers' willingness to share COVID data supports the need to put information on Care Compare. Nursing home providers can expect even more scrutiny from congressional lawmakers this year due to the pandemic's devastating impact on the sector, and the first piece of reform legislation is already gaining traction, according to a leading regulatory expert. Quote, the Nursing Home Improvement and Accountability Act is a piece of legislation to really watch. Cynthia Morton, Executive Vice President of the National Association for the Support of Long-Term Care, said on Monday. She was speaking during the open session of the Simple LTC Virtual Symposium. The legislation was introduced in early August by Democratic lawmakers on the Senate Finance and Aging Committees. Minimum staffing requirements, increased Medicaid funding, and a ban on pre-dispute arbitration agreements are among the proposals included. Morton explained pieces of the legislation are being copied, adapted, and written into other pieces, committee bills, which later could be included in the broader budget reconciliation bill later this year. Quote, it's not a done deal yet, it's just preliminary, but just to kind of give you a feel that this Nursing Home Improvement and Accountability Act definitely has traction, definitely has legs, Morton said. We may be seeing some provisions from there this year in real legitimate legislation. She added that the industry should expect other types of nursing home reform measures and proposals to arise from Congress as well as the Medicaid Payment Advisory Commission, consumer groups, and the public. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.